Hello there, welcome to another Zero training video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to automate your credit control by having automated email reminders about invoices, sales invoices that are becoming due or that are overdue. So for Zero to send an email to your customers when an invoice is becoming due or is overdue. On the email, there will also be a payment link and things like that. This is one of my favorite features about Xero. It's very cool. Okay, so let's go to the top left here. Click on the drop down list. Go to settings. Under settings, you need to go to invoice settings. It should show somewhere on this page. For me, it shows under features at the top here. In a previous video, I showed you how to edit these invoices, how to make your logo show, change the text layout of the invoices. If you're interested in that, go back and watch that video. In another previous video, I taught you how to create payment buttons on invoices so customers can pay by card or PayPal from your invoice. That's covered in a previous video, go and have a look at that. In this video, we're looking at the invoice reminders. If we click on here, this is where we can set up those automated email reminders. Simply just click on the list and your options are displayed here. So by default, there is an email that's seven days overdue, 14 days overdue and 21 days overdue. So when a invoice is seven days overdue, they'll get an email, same with 14 and 21. Now to see what that email says and to edit that email, we simply click on edit. This is the subject heading of the email and then this will be the body, the text in the email itself. It's really important that your contacts, your customers on Zero, are totally up to date and you filled in as much information as possible because what Zero will do is try and grab data information that's showing on customer records in order to generate these emails. You can see here it says hi contact first name. If the contact first name is not entered on the customer record, it can't actually put the contact's first name here. You can edit any of this information, any of the text, you can simply delete or edit or add more text, and then that will show on these emails going forward as long as you click save. You can obviously delete the date of it's grabbing to, so the, the contact first name, if you just want it to say hi, then you obviously can delete the contact first name. You can also add more data for zero to grab. So if you want the first name and the second name to appear for whatever reason, you can simply insert the placeholder here. So we want the contact's last name. Click on that. It will then insert that on the body. We can put our comma in. Now zero is going to grab the first name and the last name. All the information that Xero can grab is here. So you can have a look through this list. Everything you would need to display on an email reminder is available in this list. Obviously, feel free to, to change the information here. Once we click Save, that body, that subject heading that we have manipulated, that we've edited, will show on the email reminders going forward. Now it could be that you only want one reminder sent. If that's the case, there's a van going past my office. I do apologize if you've heard that go past. If you only want one email being sent, then if you click on edit, there is this delete button here. So you can get rid of these additional reminders. You can also add new reminders here. Now all these by default are overdue. You might want to send an email reminder or zero to send an email reminder when an invoice is becoming due. Simply in the edit section, you can just change that here. So due in two days, due in five days, due in one day. So you can send a reminder as an invoice is becoming due as well as overdue. There are some other features here that you can uh, click on and have a look at. The replies to the zero email will be received to the company email address. This is my email address here. It's a really clever feature. So the emails are sent out automatically. 
They can then pay the invoices on that uh, reminder. They can download the invoice as well. And then if they reply to the email reminder, you actually get the reply. So it's a really great feature. It really automates things. I really suggest that you use it. Once you've changed everything that you want to, just click Save. And then those emails will be sent going forward. Thank you so much for watching another video. I have tons of free videos, zero videos, all on my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. Let's bring it up on the screen. Just head over to my website, click on free stuff. There are so many free courses on my website. It's all for free. You can learn bookkeeping, payroll, accounting, business planning, Sage. Here we go, zero. If we click on zero, there's a number of free courses and free videos all on this page. There's no registration required. Just go here, watch the videos. Alternatively, just go through my YouTube channel. I have thousands of videos all about accounting software, zero included, and lots of other things. Thank you so much, and I'll speak to you in another video.